Hello, my friends. Today, we went to do a Vitamix review, and she wants to make something for you. So what are you making today? All right, we're going to make a smoothie. Okay, so I got some frozen fruit here. I like to use a lot of frozen fruit because then I don't let it go bad. And um, we're just going to start out and put some blueberries in there. I don't really have a recipe. I just kind of pour them in. And we have a lot of kids. And I love making smoothies because I can sneak all kinds of stuff in that they don't know is in there. Like kale. If you buy a bag of kale, um, just throw it in your freezer. These are actually frozen and it lasts a long time. And you can just put it in the smoothie. So, um, like put a bunch of greens in there. Um, I have some mint from my mint plant because I really love the just a little bit of mint that gives it a flavor. And I have a frozen banana here that I'm gonna put in there. And we have a star fruit tree, so I have some frozen star fruit that I cut up and just popped in a bag. And these are super um, high in vitamin C and different stuff, so try to get that in there. Um, so I'm gonna add a little juice to it to sweeten it up. Some apple juice. You don't. You can use water if there's too much sugar, but when I have my kids drinking it, I kind of have to like mask the flavor of things um so why do you like the vitamix have you had other blenders um oh yeah like i had so many blenders and i would just kill them one after another one you know you'd like turn it on and they start smoking eventually because they just can't handle frozen stuff and making smoothies and using them a lot so we finally bought a blender uh, a vitamix blender and this thing is just amazing we bought, it was probably almost seven years ago when we bought this thing, and it just keeps on working. So all the money that you put into it, you save in all those years of buying blender after blender after blender well, that we, you burn up. We did have a problem with it, though. We did um, have a problem. The, the bearings went out in the actual um, pitcher. The motor, we haven't had a problem with the motor. The motor is still running strong, but they replaced this for free because um, it was still under warranty like this it's, long after it's still under warranty. Yeah, we just got it in today. It's about, they sent so, us about $150 for the stuff after we've had it for years. So, um, so uh, I, I think I'm going to put a little bit of chia seeds in. These are like really good protein. They're high in all kinds of good vitamins and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna pour some of these in there. Not too many, but I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up. And I would like to add, I'm gonna add some protein powder. And these are greens, my son took the label off, but I'm gonna add these. But what I like to do is actually blend it, all of this stuff up, and then just put it on low and pour the powder in while it's running, cause then none of it gets, like less of it will get like stuck to the outside of the blender. So, um, that's kind of how I like to do it. You can put it in before, it doesn't matter. So, um, it's really easy to use a, a, a Vitamix. There's like only a few controls on this one. So there's like an on off switch and there's a variable, we'll which plug it in. basically just means, there you go. So when you have it on variable, you get to change the speed. And then when you put it on high,
um, this is when I like to kind of like take the lid off and then maybe put it on a low speed where you can see it's kind of sucking things in. And then, Vortex. And I'll pour the powder, I try to get it right in the middle there, so it kind of sucks it down in. And then you don't kind of get like clumps of powder stuck inside. You know, you can do the same thing with the chia seeds and I actually do that sometimes too with the chia seeds so that they don't get all stuck on the side either. You can see there's chia seeds. It's done, it's ready, it's nice and cold because the stuff was frozen. If you don't have frozen, you can do fresh and just add some ice in there to cool it down. Because smoothies really, you really need them cold. If they're, if they're not cold, it's kind of hard to get them down sometimes. But what's awesome is you get like so, you can put so many fruits and vegetables in one drink. I mean, this is just amazing that you can drink this in one drink and be done. Like all the fruits and vegetables that your body can utilize because it's all broken down. It's easy to digest. This is amazingness. There is um, uh, something with the Vitamix though is you may have some hard choices to make because they, they may have different colors and so you need to decide which color is best for you to match your other appliances so all your kitchen appliances get along. And you also need to know this is not just uh, something you buy. This is a uh, investment in, in your health and in your future, in your spouse's future, in your children's future. We, we've had this thing for a long time, uh, maybe around seven years, and we just got today sent um, in this. And it's, um, we also, they sent us this, <coughs> they sent us this, and um, that. So it's also, what's, what's cool about this is it's really easy to clean. So you want to show them how to clean it? Yeah. Get all that smoothie out of there. Good to the last mm. Okay, so the cleaning process is so amazing because when you're like juicing, it's a lot of work to clean a juicer out. And this actually would be easier if you add the chia seeds kind of like after you blend it a little bit. But you just kind of put um, some soapy water in there. Soap and water. Just like that. And you put it in, you probably don't need that much water, but I put a little higher so that might, hopefully it'll get those cheap seeds off of there. And you just turn it on high. So that's about all you do. The chia seeds are stubborn, so I might actually have to wipe those ones off. But um, generally, if you don't put the chia seeds in there, that is it. You just rinse it out and um, rinse the soap out and you're good to go. But I'll probably just wipe these seeds down there and it'll be good. Is this something that you actually believe in? Oh, I love this Vitamix. I'll use it forever. I've used it for all these years now that we've had it. It's great. I get so much healthy stuff in my kids that I normally couldn't get them to eat. It's so awesome. You can throw cucumbers in there. You can throw herbs in there, parsley, cilantro, all kinds of fresh green vegetables that you're not going to get your kids to eat sometimes. I mean, unless you have really good kids. Some people do. <laughs> I mean, my kids are good, but they don't really like to eat green vegetables and like kale and spinach and things like that. So, and I don't have to fight with them either. They'll drink it and be happy. They'll, they beg me to make smoothies. So, hey, can't be that. Now, there is something else um, for you friends to know is that with the Vitamix, you're not really supposed to take this and put it in the dishwasher. Um, I don't think you're supposed to put the motor in the dishwasher either. But, but this right here, you might think, oh, I'll just clean it out by sticking the dishwasher. You're actually not supposed to do that with the uh, Vitamix. I think you can with the, with the Blendtec. But with this, um, I don't believe you're supposed to. And um, there are, um, we, we may do other uh, Vitamix videos coming out. And um, just uh, maybe stay tuned. So anyways, we are very happy with this. And you may be wondering, like, why didn't that thing hit the blade? So basically, it comes really close to the blades, but it doesn't quite hit them. Okay? Um, hopefully you guys, uh, hopefully you can see, my friends. So it doesn't quite hit them, so that's why it doesn't um, 
And I would recommend not, or if you do, be, you probably just should. If you um, take the lid off and then try to use the tamper, you might actually like hit the blades. So, my friends, that is the Vitamix review. We want to put um, maybe some links in there, maybe uh, for the Vitamix. Um, maybe a link links, maybe some stuff for the Garden of Life Raw Organic Meal. Um, we love you. You're amazing. Thank you so much for watching. God loves you. God bless you. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Let us know if you like the Vitamix or Blendtec more, what you think. But we love you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.